for me. Never have I ever done carpool karaoke with the Bragging Rights Red Squad. Hey. Hey everybody, so the month of August, I am doing 31 miles in the 31 days of August. And today is day one and I'm doing this. I'm in two miles in and I was just like, let's capture it and challenge everybody else. If you wanna join me, come on, let me know. But y'all, y'all see them hips, them dents in? I'm getting my curves. Hey, let's go.
Hey, now I bring the Feta cheese tub down from Mount Olympus uh, to the village. Ah, like this. Feta on my back, back, Feta on my back. Don't come in front of me or you'll get jacked. Wow. Okay, so who drinks these and what do y'all think? I saw this, I was like, okay, this looks good. I've seen these before, but I never got them. So I'm like, mm, let me try it. And it's invincibility. And <laughs> that is what I need right now, y'all, is some invincibility. So, yeah, just let me know what you guys think, um, those who've had it. And I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so we're going to say, so. Mm, I It's actually really good. <laughs> this is actually really good. Okay, I am. I don't want to say I'm pleasantly surprised because I feel like nowadays a lot of even like healthy juices they manage to make taste pretty good. But this, I don't know, this tastes better than expected. Like I taste the lemon and the uh, what is in here, the kale and kiwi and apple and lemon. And I feel like it's a nice blend. This is good. Look, let me give my little review of it. But okay, juice. I like this. So which one should I try? next which like flavor or yeah which one should i do now? Oh. my baby about to pull this thing over and knock it down okay okay i'm gonna stop it now Today, I decided to continue to break the chain of the generational drama chain curse. Me too. I wrote down a recipe. Wow. 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 Today, I decided to not put any buttons in this. Wow. Cookies. Wow. I just left one voicemail for my son. I didn't get mad when my son didn't call me on this past Sunday. Wow. wow. I did not compare my son to Tula son. Wow for you. I decided to praise my daughter instead of my only son. I stopped beating my children. And I decided to not go around the house closing all the lights saying economia, economia, economia. I went to Mr. Mango down the street today and decided to not eat the grapes one by one out of the bag for free and another one. I went to Maria's daughter's wedding and I decided to not approach her very lonely single sister and tell her que esta de casu. And I did not get angry when I was not invited to her wedding. Malakismeni, echo vali tosa lefta, tra cosa dolaria e vala e finanziati, mi tenchesso. Look at us, breaking the chain of... Generational, Generational drama, drama same case. Okay, so there's no special answer to this. I just wear my glasses. My current glasses personally don't interfere with my bridge piercing at all. Now, I'm not a piercer, but it's kind of my understanding that the piercers who won't pierce people's bridge if they wear glasses, it's usually because the glasses sit too close to the piercing site, which means you could push your glasses up to adjust where they sit on your face and you could snag the piercing and that could prolong healing or damage the piercing. Not to mention, glasses carry a lot of bacteria. Like, they are dirty, and if that dirt is like sitting around here, and you do like that after a day, you're gonna push all that bacteria into your piercing, say you're feeling lazy and you don't clean your piercing that night, then you're gonna run into problems. But let me show you some of my glasses and how they sit on my face, because I've got three pairs of prescription glasses. So these are my oldest pair of glasses that I have. As you can see, they don't, the little rests don't sit too close to my bridge, but here, if I were to push that wrong, I could push on the jewellery. Now, these are my main glasses. As you can see, they sit nowhere near the jewellery. These are perfect for me. These are my favourite glasses that I wear all the time. And I always get asked where they're from. They are Balmain sunglasses with prescription lenses and a transitional tint on them. 
These are my backup glasses for if I damage or lose my daily pair of glasses. These don't have the little metal and rubber rests, these just sit on the plastic frame. And as you can see, these do sit a lot closer. If I... That tapping noise is the glasses hitting on my bridge. Now, that doesn't really hurt me because my bridge is fully healed. But I don't know, say if I were to like, push my glasses up like that, because I do that a lot in work, all it takes is for one wrong angle and this little keyhole shape here could get hooked on my bridge jewellery and knock it or irritate it or anything, even pull it out maybe. And these are Marc Jacobs, if anybody's wondering. I don't know if I said that already. Now, these are the sunglasses I typically wear, and to be honest, they're not ideal to wear with my bridge jewellery because they sit right there, right against it. I think if you're concerned about it, you should definitely speak to a piercer and see where the piercing would sit and if your current pair of glasses would interfere with it. And always remember to be respectful if your piercer turns you down for a piercing because it is going to be for your own benefit if they do. I appreciate it, but I'm not that short. My neck. <laughs> Too bad. My knees. What I can't, oh, it hurts my you. arm. Look up. I got it. <laughs> I know her. I know her. Go, Melissa. Do it to serve.
create a relationship with your group that's like family or like a very good friend, you don't want to let them down. And that's a big difference between not wanting to let them down and not wanting to get fired. It's actually much easier to not get fired, to do the average, to do the minimum even sometimes. There's no actual reason to fire you. But the next level of like not wanting to let them down means that you stop looking at the clock, you stop worrying about how much it takes to get it done, and you worry only about making sure that you don't let them down. And there's a big difference between that. Now let me see the booty work, booty work, booty work. Uh, we... yeah. 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 Okay, guys, this is my first figure, so I'm just being a little me mesmerized right now. I mean, that's that's awesome. Thank you. Special attention to the abs. The, <laughs> the abs, a little cool. tattoo. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. I'm so happy about this. Can I, I get to take this one home? Well, send it to you. Send it to you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve said I could take it. Just... I mean, we were just talking about. Would you use one? Can you leave us alone for like five minutes? Actually, actually, hold on a minute. Naomi coming out there to save her little friend. Naomi. Do you think that's going to help them get their titles back? Don't think so. No, no, and I'm so sick of <laughs> Naomi always involving yourself with me. Why me? What have I done to you? Look at this assault. Here, oh. I'm gonna have to go to medical now. I need a band aid because you know, I'm lucky about it bleed no, out at this point. That you're absolutely right. We've said this before. All they are are a bunch of bullies Bullies. that just want everything because they're the spoiled little girls that get every single thing that they want. But you know what? They are not getting these back. <laughs> these are ours. I look so much better with this. Like, yeah, I don't them yeah, ever did. I'm so exactly You're funny, mate. Great. We've got your back. Anytime. Like, never mind them. Like, Naomi, who's that anyway? Yeah. You've got our back. We've got yours. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think that's all you need to know. Happy Monday! I am in Holly Springs photographing one of my favorite collectives, which is the Unruly Women's Collective. Um, we're doing some promo shots, some branding as well. And yeah, it's going to be a fun morning, or fun afternoon rather, of just photographing music, um, hanging out with some amazing, talented, and beautiful women. And so I'm super excited to show you what we create. And yeah, I'll do some behind the scenes, hopefully, if I can remember. But yeah, so stick around and I'll see you guys soon.